Many times as you work in Excel, you might need to import external data into the worksheet in which you are working. You might need to access data that was created in a database such as Microsoft Access or access data that was stored in your address book for your email client software. While Excel can open quite a few different kinds of data, the most common format for data to be imported into Excel is the text format. There are two commonly used text file formats. You have the tab delimited format which ends with a .txt in extension and a tab character is used to separate the text fields within this file format. There's also the comma separated values format which ends with .csv and within this file format a comma is used to separate the text fields. Regardless of which format you use, the process for importing data into Excel is the same. If you come up here to your ribbon and select the Data tab, notice that you have Get External Data. You will use this option to import data into Excel. Now, to actually apply the process of importing, let's go back to our project of the Raspberry Brigade. Please access or make active your Raspberry Brigade product list document that we were creating previously in this tutorial. Notice that you have the name of the company up here with product list as well as the column heading of product and then two products listed of raspberry muffins and blueberry muffins. Please set your cursor in cell A6 which is column A row 6 right below blueberry muffins and we will begin the import process from here. Again, you need to access your data tab on your ribbon and then click get external data to begin the import process. You now can choose from access as one of your options, from web, from text, from other sources, and from existing data connections. Now these two options here connect to an external server and we will discuss this more later in the tutorial when we get into Windows SharePoint server and how to connect Excel to that. But for right now we want from text so we'll go ahead and click that option once to select it. This opens up a browser window for navigating to wherever you have stored your Excel 2007 directory which contains all the course files. Let's go ahead and select that with a single click and then click import. This will initiate the text import wizard which allows you to set various options for how you want your data imported into Excel. First you need to choose the data type. The first one deals with whether you have delimited data or fixed width. Our text file is separated by tabs so we want this option. Now you would choose fixed width if all of your information in the text fields was of the same width or the same character spacing. And then you can choose what row you want to start the import at. And if you look down below here in this wizard, you will see that it lists all the data that will be imported in to Excel. And it goes to row 25. So you can start your import at row 1 or any row between 1 and 25. Now the file origin deals with what character set you are using. There are standard character sets out there and by default most likely if you are here in the United States you will be using the OEM United States character set. We'll go ahead and leave that as it is set. Now we'll come down here and click next to move on to step two. Here you can go ahead and set what your delimiters are. We have tab by default selected and that is correct for our text file but if you had commas or semicolons or spaces separating your data, you would select that option here. And you even have an other option that you can designate what your character is that separates your data. Let's go ahead and click next to move on to the next step. And then finally the third step deals with when the data comes into your worksheet, how do you want it formatted? The default option is set up as general. What general means is if numeric values are brought in, they will be formatted as numbers, date values will be formatted as dates, and all remaining values will be formatted as text, and that's what we want. Let's go ahead and click Finish, which will close the wizard, but open up an Import Data dialog box with, by default, existing worksheet selected, as well as a reference to the cell where the import will begin. Since we clicked cell A6 before we started the import, by default that is shown in this text field. It looks a little different 
as it has dollar signs and an equal sign, and that's because it is an absolute reference. Up to this point in the tutorial, we have only been dealing with relative references. We'll learn more about relative references and absolute references later in this course. But for right now, this is exactly what we want, so we'll go ahead and keep that set. Now, just to show you how this import dialog box works. Notice that I can collapse this down by clicking over here to cause it to shrink down and then I can click within various cells within my worksheet and it changes right up here in my import data dialog box to whatever cell I've clicked that's active. You can cause this dialog box to uncollapse by clicking this button again. Notice this is a toggle button. It will cause the dialog box to collapse and expand based on when it's clicked. And for the sake of our Raspberry Brigade product list, let me delete what has been selected here in this text field and again come down and choose A6 so that my reference is the same as yours. So we are going to import our data into cell A6. Let's go ahead and say OK and here comes the data. All 25 rows. So we now have a complete product list for our Raspberry Brigade product list worksheet. Keep this worksheet open as we will be using it later in this tutorial and move on to the next movie.